What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing Suicune in Ranked Regulation F. So guys, in the previous couple of videos, I actually used some gimmicky off-meta teams, but I want to bring you guys a rather strong team featuring meta Pokemon and Suicune to help you guys push Master Tier, or if you guys are already in Master Tier, you guys can use this team to push a little bit higher in the ranks. But Suicune's gonna get us started here with today's team preview, starting off with its ability and item. It has Inner Focus, a really good ability, stopping it from flinching on Fake Out. It also has Leftovers as item, with a great moveset of Scald, Icy Wind, Tailwind, and Snarl. Now Suicune kind of flies under the radar for a support Pokemon, but let me tell you guys, this Pokemon is absolutely amazing. It has great moves, has great stats all around, it's just a solid support Pokemon for ranked play. Other Pokemon on today's team are meta Pokemon. We got Rillaboom for physical attacker. On top of that, it has terrain control with Grassy Surge. We got Landorus and Shen Pao. Landorus is going to be a big time special attacker with sheer force and the life orb. And Shen Pao, obviously going to be a big time physical attacker. That we're going to pair up with Arcanine, who is choice band and has E Speed and other moves, but E Speed is the main combo with Shen Pao. Our final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Fluttermane with Choice Specs and Photosynthesis. Fluttermane's got Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and last but not least, it does have Parasong. So if we find ourselves in a situation where Parasong can really thrive, we're going to pop it and get rolling with that. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using Suicune in Ranked Regulation F. First match on its way, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of Clover Bells. Clover Bells, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for, again, making another team for me to showcase on the channel. If you guys want to check out the Pokepace, make sure you guys head to Clover Bells' channel. Link will be down in the description below. But we're going up against Urshifu, Rillaboom, Raging Bolt, Iron Bundle, Shen Pao, just like us, and Fluttermane, just like us. Um, who should we lead here? I could go Suicune. Speed Control could be rather lovely, plus they have a few special attackers. So Snarl could be good. On top of that, we got Icy Wind. I do like this. They got three special attackers, three physical attackers. Nice little mixture of Pokemon here. But we're going to lead Suicune here. Get one with that Pokemon. And on top of that, I could potentially lead Rillaboom. I kind of like Rillaboom, especially for turn one fake outs. Or if I don't like the position we're in, we could just U-turn Pivot out of here. Not a bad play. Not a bad play. So I am going to go Rillaboom here for the lead. I am going to bring Shen Pao in the back end. And last but not least, do we go Arcanine? Or do we go in maybe with Lando or Fluttermane? Fluttermane could be rather solid, especially with the choice specs. And I'm leaning towards that, right? Big time damage with the fairy moves. A lot of them are going to be either super effective or neutral to fairy, which is pretty big, especially if we're dropping Dazzle Gleams or Moonblast with the choice specs. Come on, man. That damage is just way too much. It's just too big. It's just too big. And if we still have Terra, we can always Terrasalize. So let's see who they end up leading here. I would love to just pop a Tailwind, maybe just fake out easier here. It's going to be Shen Pao alongside with Urshan. So I believe Shen Pao to most likely protect here. Even though I want to fake it out. But I'm going to make the read that Shen Pao protects. Because it is Focus Ash. And I'm just going to fake out the Urshan. And then set up a Tailwind. So we're going to go there. We are just going to go for a fake out. I could actually just would have this way. I could wood hammer that, but I'm just gonna fake out the Urshifu because I believe Shen Pao would be most likely protected. I would be upset if it does just pop like a ice spinner into my real room. That would be that would be a mess. That would be a mess. But I'm gonna make the prediction. Say Shen Pao is protecting. Fingers crossed for that one, right? We could be in some trouble if not. We could be in some trouble. And there it is. All day long. Easy prediction. Easy prediction. So Shen Pao going to protect. Fake out is going to pop into the Urshifu slot. There's no way it's covert cloaked, right? Yeah, it's going to flinch, and it cannot move. So Tailwind now flies. So now we get off Tailwind. Um, hmm. And from here, Woodhammer would be solid into the Urshifu. Not a bad play, especially because we outspeed this thing now. Or I could double... I think doubling down into Shen Pao at this time is probably your best bet, right? I think doubling down into Shen Pao is definitely your best bet. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go us. Uh, Scald here, and I'm also going to U-turn Pivot out of here. Because Urshifu could hard swap here as well. Urshifu could hard swap. We could see a hard swap from Urshifu. So I'm going to double down into the Shen Pao, and he's just going to Terrasalize Urshifu most likely. He's going to Terrasalize the Urshifu. Yep, and now we're doubling down into Shen Pao. He's going to go straight Steel. I don't, I don't mind that too much. I get a Pivot here as well. 
I get a nice lovely pivot, but who do I want to bring in here? Because I would think you're going for, again, or go after Rillaboom, if anything, right? Oh, we get a burn on the Shen Pao, too. So if you do end up out speeding us, that can be good. But we well, U-turn pivot, and we pick up the KO. So doubling down the Shen Pao is going to be huge. The real question is, who do I go into? I got to be going into Arcanine here. I got to intimidate. Oh, no, not Arcanine. Ooh, I thought we had Arcanine. I could go into Shen Pao. Who do I think you're going after, though? Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll go into our Shen Pao, right? Well, you know, we'll go into Flood or me. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to go into Shen Pao. I'm going to hope that you're going after Suicune. I'm going to hope that you're going after Suicune here. So I'm going to go into Shen Pao of my own here. You're gonna go for close combat. Bad call on RN. Real bad call on RN. Fluttermane would have been awesome. Fluttermane would have been so good. And I should have just kind of knew that, right? I should have knew knew that he wasn't going for any water moves, right? Against Rillaboom or or Suicune. Wow, that hurts, man. That hurts because now he could just go for an Aqua Jet here, KO my Chen Pao, and now we're sitting in a weird position. Man, that sucks. That sucks real bad. Okay. So from here, our best bet would probably just be to either Snarl or Icy Wind. And I'm just going to Snarl here just to drop you. And then I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch on top of that into the Urshifu slot. Because I feel like Urshifu is just the bigger threat right now, right? Yeah, Urshifu is just the bigger threat. So I'm going to Sucker Punch the Urshifu here. Try to chunk up some nice damage. Not bad. I almost actually KO'd it. And he's just going to go for an Icy Wind for the KO. And probably drop another close combat. So I get off a little bit of value with Shen Pao. Should have definitely thought out my uh, thought process a little bit more with swapping into Fluttermane. That could have been big time for us. But close combat's gonna fire. We should be able to soak decently. Yep, we still have 100 health. And can Icy Wind actually KO here? Well, not Icy Wind. Can Snarl actually KO? The Snarl is flying here. It does KO. And now we got. Iron Bundle at minus one, and it can't swap out. So, Suicune doing rather well here. Um, I think we just bring out Rillaboom at this point. I think we just bring out Rillaboom, right? I'm trying to think of how many turns we have left in the frame. We, do, we use a Fake Out turn, we use a U-turn turn, and we use a Sucker Punch. So, there should be two turns left in the frame. I could actually just save it. And actually just pop a Parasol. And that's going to be my best bet, right? Two Pokemon left? Let's pop Parasol. Let's just pop Parasol. Is it going to be a special attacker? It is going to be a special attacker. So we actually are forcing a little decent play here. So I'm going to go Snarl here. And I'm going to go for a Parasol. Or would I just be better off going for a Shadow Ball? I think I'm better off just going for Shadow Ball. I like it. I'm better off going for Shadow Ball. You don't have Terra. We might as well just start attacking instead of going for a Parasong. As much as I want to go for a Parasong, we're better off just Shadow Ball in all reality, right? Yeah, see? Because we just pick up the KO there, no problem. And everything works out perfectly. If I were a Parasong, I would have given three turns to have a chance at actually coming back here with a Ghost type on the field, a fake out user. But we definitely could have definitely we definitely could have Parasong and kind of waste out turns. But it was just an easier play, just a Shadow Ball right there. No terror type, all that good stuff. Now we have Iron Bundle minus two. And that's going to be the match. Suicune absolutely thriving out here, right? Only made one bad play, and that's us not bringing in Fluttermane over Shen Pao. Again, should have thought of that more, but everything works out perfectly. So from here, we're just going to Scald. We're just going to keep launching Shadow Balls with the choice specs. And I take it as my opponent is going to cancel this match. Come on, man. That's too easy. 1-0 to get things started. Big time Protect Read on turn one. Hopping into match number two, and Suicune shined in match number one. Looking to use it up here again, but we're going up against a triple, a quadruple weather team. That's weird. Torkoal to set the sun, Alone Ninetales to set the snow, Pelipper to set the rain, and T-Tar to set the sandstorm. I'm confused. I'm confused. So, Pelipper pairs up with Jolteon, and Logan pairs up with Torkoal. We have no weather control, so this can get ugly real quick. Real quick, I want to go Suicune here because I don't think they have any way of popping Trick Room. The Tailwind could be our friend, and I could also go in maybe with Lando, or I could sash up potentially with you. That's not bad. What's your Terror type here, Rillaboom? What you got cooking here? 
You have fire, which is solid with the vest, so you could actually be led here. That's not bad, but if they get Logan and Torkoal, that's a little bit of a problem. I could end up just going Shen Pao and Arcanine, and that actually kind of helps me out with a lot of different things. So I'm going to go in with both of them, actually, and then go Landers. And in the back end, we could go Suicune, or we could just go into, like, Roll Boom or main, which I'm kind of leaning a bit more towards. I'm going to go into Fluttermain here. Choice Specs, it is rather fast Pokemon. Their Pokemon aren't crazy fast, but four different types of weather. Like, I just, I have no weather control on this team. Even if I did, I don't think I could compete with four weather Pokemon. You just can't. You just can't. They're definitely bringing in at least two, right? I think they have to bring in at least two. Yeah, that's, like, it's math. <laughs> it's just math. So they're definitely bringing in at least two. I would love for them to bring in all four. That'd be kind of funny. But they go Jolteon Torkoal, which is rather weird rather weird here um rock slide could be your best friend and that's probably gonna be my play is just to pop a rock slide i could double down into torkoal but torkoal could protect which i don't like i do not like i could just single out torkoal with a head smash but i like rock slide here just because of the damage output so i'm gonna do that and on top of that i am going to just sacred sword i think into jolteon I want to Icicle Crash, but, you know, we're going to Icicle Crash. I don't think he's going to swap Jolteon. I don't think you do. I was going to say, if you swap, say, into, like, T-Tar or something, you're going to watch all Torkoal. That's fine. At least we are doubling down into this Pokemon. He's going to go Pelipper in that slot. That's odd. That's, what's the point of that? Just so you can land Thunders now? Just so you can land Thunders? I'm dropping Rock Slide when she gorgeous, and they're going to Thrash Slash Jolteon. So Jolteon comes out here with a Terra. What type you got, Koken? Stellar. This thing is Stellar Terror type. Okay, I believe we outspeed Jolteon. Actually, Jolteon's rather fast. And I sub crash misses. Of course it misses. Of course it does. That's exactly why I didn't want to use that. That's exactly why I didn't want to use that. Now my Arcanine's dead. We get off no value this turn. Really hurts the soul, man. You're rocking weather ball. It's exactly why I didn't want to use Ice Crash. Never again. Next turn we'll probably use Ice Crash. But come on, man. That sucks. That really does suck. So now I'm probably going to go into Lando here. Um, actually, I could go Fluttermane Thrash Slice Fairy. That's not bad. Or I can just stay this typing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to... Do I Thrash Slice here? I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Now, Senpai, what's your speed at? That's the real question. Your speed's 187, and you're 189, so you're outspeeding. You guys are both outspeeding Jolteon, which is pretty big for us, right? So we got speed cooking here. Um, I think we just double down into Pelipper, right? And the reason I say double down to Pelipper is we really don't want him getting off a, a Tailwind here. So if I go in Dazzling Gleam and Icicle Crash, which hopefully is landing. Okay, you're protecting. It's beautiful. Hopefully Icicle Crash lands here, and we everything works out fine. He's dropping Hurricane regardless. You outspeed. Are you choice? Might be choice. Ice of Crash. If you don't land here, I'm just running the battle. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So you make the call, Shen Pao. Thank you. Thank you very much. Landing Ice of Crashes. Finally. So they pick up the KO onto Pelipper. So Pelipper is a goner. We still have Lando to deal with a Torkoal, which is actually really good. We still have our Terror type if we want to use it. They're going to go into Ninetales. And that's all. I, I figured out what they wanted to do here. The whole point here is to just swap weathers and use weather ball. That's their, that's their thought process here. So from here, I think we're free to Terrasilize, right? Into Fairy, just to bulk up some damage. And that's going to be my play. We're going to do that. And on top of that, I am just going to Sacred Sword down this Jolteon. Because Jolteon seems to be their Pokemon to just be the attacker. It could actually protect this turn. It could. And they could get off that. Um... But I'm still going to double down. I don't think it protects. I really don't. I really don't. I think it just keeps attacking us. It withdraws Jolteon. Okay, so Jolteon's going to get the withdrawal. You're going to go into Torkoal. And you're going to change up weather. So this seems rather weird. It's really weird. It's really weird. But surprisingly, it's giving me a tough matchup. It's giving me a tough matchup. And there's our Terra. So we're going to Terra into the Fairy type. And they could set up a War Bell. Which, I would kind of mind that. But at least we get off some damage onto Torkoal. It's going to be not very effective damage, but... Any damage is better than no damage at all on Torkoal, because Eruption is just a problem. 
But that's what I'm gonna get cooking here. How much damage is this doing on to nine things? Consider my choice spec. I like that damage. So we're half in damage there. Of course you gotta bury. And the Torkoal damage is solid too. Torkoal damage is solid. So we're ripping Sacred Sword here. Not bad. Weather Ball is gonna fly. I don't mind that. I don't mind that because you're just gonna pick up the KO onto me. And I get to bring out my Lando. So we still have speed, which is awesome. Really, really good for us. And I'm gonna go into lane. So I'm not too worried about Ninetales. I'm more worried about Turkle landing a heat wave in the sun. So I think just going for Daz and Gleam and doubling down into Turkle is probably the best play with Sludge Bomb. I could go Earth Power, but if you decide to go back into Jolteon, I'd rather have s actually Earth Power. Yeah, no, Earth Power is a good call. Earth Power is a real good call. So we're gonna double down into Torkoal just in case this Daz and Gleam doesn't kill because I cannot survive a heat wave. So he protects, that's no big deal. I don't really care because Ninetales isn't doing... Actually, I lied. I lied. I was going to say Ninetales isn't doing big time damage. It is. It can KO my Lando no problem with a nice move. <laughs> but Dazzling Gleam's going to pick up the KO on that. So, okay, that's match now. GG's. Okay, so worried about not Fluttermane hitting that Terra button. Getting off some big time damage. I think I was just overthinking a lot of things. But that's going to be 2-0 for us. They're going to be forced to bring back out Jolteon. Lando can just rip up into all of them. And I'm just going to double down into Torkoal, right? Yeah, because again, the only thing I'm I'm really worried about here is... Is Torkoal landing a Heat Wave. So if we Dazzle Gleam and don't double down into it, and we don't pick up the KO, it's just an L for us. Or a chance for an L. It's Heat Wave, big time damage. So, spam and Dazzle Gleam yet again. Torkoal bye-bye. Torkoal bye-bye. Now Earth Power slides over to Jolteon. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Going 2-0 with this sweet move. Beautiful. Beautiful. You got Thunder cooking. You're going to miss that. Nice little dodge by Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane might have been able to soak that regardless. Actually, maybe not. It was Stellar Terror type. But Earth Power coming in here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0. and oh. Let's go hop into our third and final match. We're looking for another perfect record on the channel. We've just been on a tear of winning slash perfect records in our past, like, five videos. So, let's keep it rolling here. Let's keep it rolling. We're going up against Fluttermane, Landris, alongside with Iron Hands, who's a rather strong Pokemon up against my team. Then, on top of that, they got Latias, Urshifu, and Amuga. So, I want to lead Suicune in here, try to get out here in the third and final battle. I actually really like it, considering we got a bunch of good moves for support. And they have a few special attackers, so Suicune could definitely be a big part of our squad. I like Rillaboom here as well, giving us an option to swap into somebody, especially with a Mugus with Spore. So I want to bring Rillaboom, but I don't think I want to lead Rillaboom. I don't think I want to do that. Um, I could go into Shen Pao and maybe just Terra Ghost. If they do end up leading Iron Hands, which could be actually really good for us. So you know what? I'm going to go Shen Pao. I'm going to go Suicune in the back end. We are going to bring Rillaboom, like I mentioned. And last but not least, I like Lando. I really like Lando. It just hits hard, man. It just hits hard. So I'm gonna go Lando here. That's the play. That is the play. So for them, their lead could potentially be Iron Hands. Like, like I said, Iron Hands is gonna be really good up against a lot of my Pokemon. If it is rocking the standard moveset with Heavy Slam on it, I can actually do a big time amount of damage onto my Shen Pao, onto my Fluttermane, most importantly. And it would be super effective on my speaking. So we're just hoping they're not leading Iron Hands, but they probably are, right? Yeah, all day. It's a pretty simple lead for them. So I could just straight up Terrasilize into Ghost, and I think that's going to be my play, and maybe just try to get off an Icicle Crash onto Amigas, because I don't feel like the only I don't. So I'm going to do that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Icicle Crash going into the Amoongus. We're Terrasilizing Ghost just in case the Fake Out wants to come out here. I doubt they Terrasilize Amoongus right now because I would think before they Terrasilize Amoongus, they would probably try to fake out my Shen Pao. I think that would be the play more so than anything. But we're going to go for the Scald here. We're going to look to burn up some damage. We already have speed, so there's no point of wasting a turn for Tailwind right now. They could go for Wild Charge into Suicune. That is an option. But I think I would rather have Shen Pao a bit more than Suicune. Hence the reason why I'm Terrasilizing my Shen Pao. I could have just protected my Shen Pao, but I think it's time to get off some big time damage. Catch him off guard here with a Ghost Terror. And try to just pop this Amoongus because Amoongus is a big threat, right? Rage Powders, redirecting shots, Spore being an issue. Um, let's, see how this one, let's just see how this one plays out here. So we Terra, they're going to Terra as well. It is going to be Amoongus, I think. And that hurts if it is. It is, man. It is. 
That hurts, that hurts. So I'm kind of forced to bring out Robum here in a, in a turn or two. Let's just see how this one plays out here. Let's have a crash. Hopefully it gives us a flinch. This is not doing any damage. He's looking to spore me, man. And Scald's flying. Can I get a burn here? A little bit of help? Nothing. We get nothing. So Drain Punch does fly into Chen Pao slot, which is really good. And he's going to spore Suicune. Okay, I mean, that's, that's all right. I think now is going to be a big time turn for us to just protect our Shen Pao and maybe just swap our sleeping Suicune. That's something I actually kind of like because then we can force a threat onto a Moongus and at the same time keep our Shen Pao at full health with Focus Ash. Something I like. It's something I like. So we both use big time counters with our defensive terror types. I countered his Drain Punch, he countered my Ice of Crash, he got off a Spore. But now I'm going to bring out Robum here, set the lovely Grassy Terrain, and now we got that big time threat onto a Moogus, which we love. He's just going to witch all moves. Okay, so smart swap for Moogus. This is a good battle. This is going to be a good battle. They bring out Urshfu. Is that Water Urshfu? Is it Water Urshfu? It is Water Urshfu. With no Terror attack. We like that. We like that. We like that. So we end up protecting Shen Pao. He's just going to go for a Wild Charge here, which isn't that bad. Robum kind of soaks rather well. Cool. And he's going to take some recoil. So I like that. So there is a hot chance that that uh, what's called protects here. That Urshfu protects. Um, and I think it does. There's no way it stays in here, right? But I kind of just want to make the read of that thing protecting and just fake out the Iron Hands. I feel like this player is good enough to kind of realize like, okay, I need to protect Urshfu or something. So I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to double down into into Iron Hands here. I think you protect Urshfu. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So good call on our end to make that read. We're going to be able to double down into this thing, get off some nice damage here if Icicle Crash lands, which does. That's huge. That's huge. We get off some nice damage here. Beautiful damage. So now from here, um, I think we just would hammer the Urshfu. I think we would hammer right away. Because, I mean, you have a Moogus in the back end who's Water Terror type. Who else could you potentially have? Flutter main who wouldn't take too kindly to this Woodhammer. Same thing with Landorus. Um, Latias, that wouldn't be a bad swap. But I doubt you have Latias, right? I doubt you have Latias. I think you either have Lando, most likely Flutter main. But I think from here we're just going to protect our Shen Pao yet again. And we're just going to drop a Woodhammer into the Urshfu slot. And that's a withdrawal. Who you got? Who you got here? It's gonna be Lando. Yeah, Lando's not gonna take too kindly to this. It's gonna be neutral. They do intimidate, which is actually pretty massive. Now I'm just protecting the Shen Pao, who I might want to swap here, get my plus plus attack back. I could U-turn next turn too. What hammer's gonna fly? How much damage is it gonna do? It's solid damage. That's some good damage. That's some really good damage. Drain Punch gonna fly in that slot. Why am I protecting Shen Pao? Why am I protecting Shen Pao? So from here, Grassy Glide does KO. It does KO the Lando. I might just want to stay in here. I could actually U-turn. That's going to be my play. I'm going to U-turn you. And I'm just going to Sacred Sword this slot. I think the Sacred Sword still KO. Yeah, Sacred Sword should still KO. I know it's not very effective. It should still KO. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. I know I'm minus one. I know it's not very effective, but it's my safest bet at landing a move, right? I don't want to drop a sucker punch in case they swap or something. There's a swap. Cool. And the move is going to come out here. And I didn't want to drop a nice super crash because of the accuracy issue with that. So Sacred Sword's going to fly, do a little bit of damage. Move is back up to full HP. It's actually going to take off my focus ash with this Rocky Hunt. We do U turn pivot out of here so I can have fake out for later. And I could go into Suicune. I could go into Lando. I want to go into Lando, but Train Punch, I don't know how to feel about that. I do not know how to feel about that. Um, Huh. I'm going to go into Lando. I'm going to go into Lando here. I like Lando. I like it. So I'm going to go Lando here. Let's see what they end up doing. I'm going to go for a Wild Charge. And that works perfectly. It works perfectly. 
So now we're sitting here minus one on the Shen Pao. This could be a good turn for me to swap Shen Pao potentially. And maybe set up a sub. Or I could Earth Power. I think I'm just gonna protect you. And maybe just go in the robe in here. What could they do? What could they do? They could try to spore me. That's what I think they're gonna try to do. I think that's more so their play. They're gonna try to spore me, I think. I think they try to spore my Lando. So I'm gonna try to go into Robum here and hope that they don't attack the Shen Pao slot. Cool, cool. I like this. And then I can have a fake out turn, which is massive. I, I don't care about this intimidate here. I want to try to get off substitute. I really want to try to get off substitute. Beautiful. So there's protect for us. Is he trying to spore Lando? Yes. Cool. They're trying to spore Lando here. Um, This is a good match. This is a good third and final matchup. I think our best bet would just be to set up substitute because substitute does block spore. So I think now's the time to just go for a substitute and just fake out the Lando slot, or I can just try to U-turn out of here because you could swap the Lando. But I think fake out's just a, just just a safe play, right? And I'd rather go for the safe play here, just in case you stay in and try to attack with Lando. I think we have to fake out. I think we have to, just in case you stay, just in case you stay in here, which there is a chance you do stay in here. There's definitely a chance. Definitely a big time chance. They withdraw Amoongus. Leads me to think they are leaving Lando on the field. They're gonna go back into Iron Hands. Which is not bad. Big guys can come out here and they do stay with Lando, so that's big time for us. Flinch in that and we get off a free sub. So now we're subbed up, which is gorgeous. They don't have Terra. Um, does Fake Out hit through Substitute? I'm actually not sure, so I'm just gonna play it safe and just protect. And if I can, I would like to just get off a U-turn and just pivot out of here. But if I think Robin dies out this turn, right? Most likely. Yo, what a matchup here. Our opponent's playing good. We're playing good. Swaps in and out. I love getting matchups like this. Especially because, like, if I'm lasting in these battles, I feel like I'm just getting better as a, as a player. So we have sub set up with Lando. Rillaboom on our side. Rillaboom probably gets KO this turn, which I don't mind. I feel like we got off a decent amount of value, especially getting off this sub. And they're just going to withdraw Iron Hands. Okay, go back into Amoongus. Urshifu's going to come out here. So Urshifu comes out here, which is a little scary. And we're just protecting the land. But I think they might be trying to take off our... Our, what's it called? Our sub here? I mean, a Rock Slide would be big. So there's Rock Slide. We're going to block it. Can you dodge it? Oh, this will be a big time dodge. No, you don't. So you're going to die out to that. That's fine. No big deal. Um, Urshifu looking a little tough. Urshifu looking a little tough. Not gonna sit here and lie. So Shen Pao has to come out here. It has to come out here. And yeah, I don't like where we're sitting at all. I don't like where we're sitting at all now. I do not like where we're sitting at all. The Shen Pao comes out here considering Surging Strike's just a three turn move. It's just a three turn move that KOs me all day. Mm-hmm, I do not like where we're sitting. I mean, I'm gonna double down in the Urshifu slot. Cause I think there's a there's a there's a chance that that thing swaps, right? There's a chance that that Lando swaps here. Which would be smart into Amoongus. Yep. So Surgeon Strikes is scary. Um Iron Hands comes out here. This may you might be detecting. No, you don't cool. Tegasaur comes out here. We do outspeak. Can you KO here? Please and thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love Sheer Force Lando. Love Sheer Force Lando. And I don't know why I didn't go for an Earth Power there. That was kind of a stupid play of me not to go for an Earth Power and get the stab boost. But I think we just lucked out though. I think we just lucked out. I, my mind kind of just went blank. But they're going to go back into Lando. I don't mind because I can just Sucker Punch finish off Lando. It kind of seems like it could be choice. And I don't think you can fake out through Substitute, so I think we just go Earth Power here, and we just go Sucker Punch. So big time plays for us to get off Substitute. Our Suicune's been asleep this whole game. Once I went to sleep, we're like, all right, get on out of here. Bring you in the back end. 
But that sub play was huge for us. It was definitely huge just to fake out the Lando. Play it safe. Kind of go from there. So Sucker Punch going to fly here. We're going bye bye to Lando. Earth Power, I think, KOs Iron Hands all day long. And now you're just left with the pitiful Amoongus with, with no other Pokemon. Right? Earth Power KOing. That's a dub. 3-0, baby. 3-0. Throw the 3s up in the air. Throw them up. Come on, man. That's too easy. We are killing it on the rank ladder. Clover Bell shot me another banger of a team. Man, this was just such a good matchup. It really was. Huge shout out to our uh, our opponent here. They played actually really, really well. It was one of those matches that was just like protect swaps, protect swaps, like trying to get the upper hand. And then once somebody breaks through, they just take control of the match. And that's exactly what we did. We just broke through with this match with that substitute play. So I'm just going to go Earth Power here. Drop a nice little sucker punch. I think they just canceled match, right? Yeah, battle was canceled. 3-0 perfect record. The perfect records have been flying on the channel. You Suicune today, grab yourselves another perfect record. Love this team all around. Like I said, it's a pretty meta team, so if you guys want to run this team, use it in high tier, master tier, go for it. I definitely recommend it. This team is phenomenal. You got Suicune for support with Speed Control with Tailwind, Icy Wind, and then you also have Snarl for special attack drops. Showcase that Pokemon really well in match number one. And then the rest of the Pokemon really just thrive out in the meta. Rillaboom, Landorus, Fluttermane, Shantau, and Hisuian Arcanine. You really can't go wrong. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. For me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.